Today is lesson number one. We're going to talk about this guy right here, connecting it to a position servo. And the goal is to make uh, like a little meter of some kind. So let's start. We have the Hummingbird Robotics unit here. I'm just going to plug it in and a light should light up. If it doesn't, then you have to turn it on right here. So on it goes and then it should be ready to go. You can see some lights there. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to plug in this servo into servo position one. You can see it right there. That's number one, two, and three, and these are servos right here. There are actually four of them. The number four is hidden. So I'm gonna plug it into number one. I'm gonna be careful that the white wire lines up on the section closest to the number one, so like that. So it should be the white wire like that, close to that there. All right, so that's plugged in. Then I can go to my iPad and I can quickly take a look at what I've got here. I've connected it already. And so in order to make this thing work, I'm going to go ahead and use the control hat here, drag that out, put a repeat loop in here. I'm gonna to go to the robots section, the blue part. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use the, not the LED, I will use the position servo. That's what I'm dragging out right now. So I will drag that out and put it inside the repeat block because I'm going to repeat it 10 times. I'm going to go back to the control section. I'm going to put in a wait one second, then back to the robots, put in the position servo, and then I'm going to go back to control again and put it in a wait one second. So what I want to do is I want to change these numbers. I want to make it like 120 degrees, and then maybe zero degrees. And then uh, what's gonna happen, it's gonna go loop around and do that 10 times. So that's the program that I'm going to use. And that program will cause the position servo to rotate back and forth. Okay, I went ahead and got my tools here. I've got a uh, pencil and my saw right here because I've got to, this is kind of just like a little cutting saw. What I have to do is I wanna put this servo inside of this piece of paper. So I'm going to trace around it like this. I'm just going to take a pencil and mark around it like so. And then I'm going to pull that off. And I'm going to see that I have a little drawing right there. You can kind of see that. I'm going to try to cut that out with this saw. I probably want to try to poke a hole in the corner so I can get to it easily. Make sure your fingers aren't right behind it. Just be careful here. It's all right, so now I'm gonna to try to get this saw through here. And I wanna do my best job here that I can without really making a big mistake. So I'm gonna cut it right there. All right, I'm still cutting here. That looks pretty good. So what I need to do now is I need to put this inside this hole here. So in order to do that, actually I'm probably gonna unplug this again because I want the wire to go through there first. So the wire will go through first. Kind of fumbling here a little bit. And the wire goes in and like that. I put it in there first, kind of tilt it down. And then I push this guy in here. It's better that it's tight rather than loose. It's important to have it tighter rather than loose. So now it's in here, and I am now going to put the next little piece on. I look through my kit here. I have like a little kit in the box. And then it's got one of these guys right here, which you can do a lot of stuff with. But we're going to start with something very simple. I'm just going to put this on here. just want to see how far over it is. I'm going to try to move it a little bit. See. So I want the... So I moved it all the way left, counterclockwise, and I want it to be like pretty much horizontal when it's all the way left, so it's close enough for now. So I'll put this on here, so you just kind of push it down a little bit. Don't be too tough on it, there you go. So now I'm going to put this back into the robotics piece. 
and it is plugged in again. You can see I plugged it in as section one. I'm going to go back to looking at my program, and you can see that it's going to rotate from 120 to zero. So let's just watch what happens when I push the green flag. So there it goes back and forth. Okay, so I'm just going to go down the side right here, and I think this is a good cardboard cutter. So I'll go ahead and cut out a little slice off the edge here. Super straightforward. Oops, Daisy. And now I've got what I think is going to be a bit of an arrow. So let's see how we do this. I'm going to need some tape to get it on there. A little arrow on here. Maybe I'll mark it up so it looks more like an arrow. Let's just do that. All right, so let's look at it. This would be like zero. This would be 180. Those of you that are in math should recognize that. I'm going to push the green flag and watch it do its work. So we've gone back and forth. That's our meter reading. That's phase one of the project. Thank you.